Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the Astrological Update for Leo for the whole of February 2017. Well, Angel, how are you getting on in this very, very intense 2017? Now, this month gives us an opportunity to let go of past baggage, to move on and to change things. And it's particularly intensely powerful for you. That's because what all of us astrologers are talking about are the eclipse of the moon in your sign Leo, which forms a mystic rectangle, a grand trine and all sorts of fabulous things. On top of that, we've got an eclipse of a new moon. So for you, it is mega. It could be actually one of the most powerful opportunities of 2017. So I'll go into it in a minute. Let me just start at the beginning to give you a brief overview of what's going to happen before that. But that really is the main event. Um, so if we kick off with Venus shifting signs on the 3rd of February, it's making you much bolder when it comes to love. You're feeling that you don't want to hold back. You want to do things differently. You want to bring a bit of excitement into your relationships. You want things to be interesting and you're sick of boring routine and you want to go off piste. You want to do things that no one else is doing with your partner. And you're also drawn to people who are different and don't care about what other people think and are bold and flamboyant and outgoing like you. So that's quite enjoyable for you, particularly if you want to travel, if you just want to shake things up in your love life, it's perfect for that. And if you're in a relationship and it's got stuck in patterns, you can bring back the passion and the fire and you can make things happen. You also want security around your career at the moment and you're fiercely protective of what you do and you want to make things happen but you are at your best if you're doing it in a kind of routine at the moment. Uh, you can work very hard doing what you love. Mercury, the planet of communication on the 7th of February, is entering your position of relationships and this is where it starts to get interesting. You are ready to communicate in a new way. Before, you may have been frustrated with someone. Someone may have been annoying you. You may have thought, oh, I can't deal with this anymore. It could be friends as well as lovers. But whoever it was, maybe you were a bit impatient. Maybe you were a bit self-critical. Maybe you're even looking at things or analysing things a little bit too deeply. This month, you're able to magically discover the joy of compromise and you're able to see everything from well not everything but it adds, you see their point of view and you're able to bring balance to the relationship and find a middle way you're also very good at sweet talking when it comes to love you say just the right thing and you're accepting someone for who they are rather than last month when you were like eh, i do not like it when you behave like that or little things may have irritated you fortunately that energy's gone now also if you're single it's great because you can meet someone and you you're talking on the same wavelength and you're bonding and you're equal. There's no games there. Now, the big news. On the 11th of February, the full moon and eclipse of the moon in your sign. Wow. It's time to let go. It's time to surrender all the things that no longer serve you emotionally. It's time for you. Well, you'll have a, a real massive emotional revelation, I would imagine, around that date where you'll see things as they truly are and you'll know what you need. And actually you won't be able to deny what you need. So it will be liberating. It may be, again, a bit of emotional roller coaster. but you are a warrior. You are the king and queen of the jungle. You can handle it. Do not be, be your usual fearless self because believe me, it's going to be worth it because there is a mystic rectangle, which is like a huge envelope in the sky. And within that envelope is an answer to one of your prayers, an answer to something, maybe you didn't even know the question that was being asked, but it's really powerful. Now we have the moon sextile Jupiter, which is giving you superpowers when it comes to communicating. And the moon trine Saturn, which is allowing you to find st some stability in your love life, your creativity. If you've had any problems with kids, if you've had arguments with your kids, for instance, or you, there's been a 
problems around children. It brings the joy back into your relationships with children. You are feeling open and warm and spontaneous and you're able to connect and say the right thing and do the right thing. And you'll find also that other people are more open or even surprising in what they're saying to you. But it is huge. And actually, that energy should ricochet throughout the whole of the month, culminating in the eclipse of the new moon, uh, which is bringing about some deep, deep uh, opening of your shadow side. So we've all got a shadow side. We've all got things hidden within us that we don't share with other people. And in fact, we may not even see ourselves. It's the part of ourselves that maybe we're ashamed of, the part of ourselves that we, you know, would rather hide. The wounds, the fears, the insecurities. And you're being given an opportunity to let that stuff go while also exploring it. And it's a big soul healing. So the whole of this month really is a big cycle for you. Um, but by the end of it, you will feel free and you will feel that you can fly. And hopefully you will feel like you are the phoenix reborn. Now your root of the sun is changing signs on the 18th of February and also taking you, plunging you into the deep side of yourself. It does happen every year whenever the sun's in Pisces. You go through that phase. So you can look back to last year. How are you feeling when the sun was in Pisces? Were you deep? Were you spiritual? Did you resolve something? Did you have an affair? Did, you know, what kind of shadowy stuff was going on for you? It also asks you to examine your relationship to power. Are you feeling powerful at the moment or are you feeling powerless at the moment? Now is your opportunity to embrace that. And also you're giving off a rah, yeah, baby. A kind of, you know, very mag, mag, what's the word? Oh my goodness, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> Magnetic, charismatic vibe. Oh, anyway, so that's good. And on the 21st, Mercury is trying Jupiter. Great time to communicate with people. You should, in fact, have lots of lovely conversations with lovers and friends this month. And it certainly is a transformational time. Perhaps come back and uh, listen to your weekly astrology, which goes into more detail each week. All right. Lots of love. Take care. And I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for listening. And please, if you haven't yet, it'd be great if you could subscribe, share, like or comment. Take care. See you next week.